At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. News is also brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, Harumph's optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Healthcare partners Liam McCall invites the public to some events just in time for Medicare's open enrollment period. We have a, a healthcare Q&A session that's open forum for anybody who has questions about healthcare or looking to switch or looking to find answers to any unsolved questions that they have over at the Prump Nugget on November 27th from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, food and drinks will be there and we encourage everybody to come out. The Q&A here at the Senior Center, what time is that one? Uh, the Q&A at the Senior Center will run from about 9.30 to about 1. Um, we'll have rotating doctors throughout, and you, we encourage people to come and enjoy and say hi to uh, our doctors. When, along with the question and answer, we also sponsor the lunch that day as well. Wonderful. And so the one at the, the Prump Nugget, everybody's open for that one. Find out about that open enrollment period before it ends. Yes, ma'am. Find out about the open enrollment period, and as well, if you'd like any additional information about the events, go to keepmydoctor.com, and we'll have everything up on there as well, directions. Um, any information that you might need. Two USO shows were held at the Saddle West this past Saturday to benefit the VFW Food Bank. This is to benefit our Veterans Food Bank that we have out on Homestead at the VFW Post. And it's, we do non-perishable foods and we're serving 155 vets now and their families to give them extra food for, to get through the month. People are really in need of this food bank, aren't they? A lot of people have been uh, really pleading for people to participate in this as well as it's helping a lot of veterans all at once. Yes, it does. Um, we try to do these events to keep our pantry stocked because we do all of our, um, we, all of our food comes from donations from the community and from um, other vets and part of our uh, slogan is Vets Helping Veterans. And so this is, uh, I hear, the only one in the nation right now. Do you think it's going to take off? We hope so, because our vets, they served us in the military, and now we need to help them out. Let's talk about some of the entertainment that we're seeing tonight here. We, yes. got, we got Linda DeMeo there as yes. the MC. We got Linda DeMeo at the last minute to MC because our MC didn't make it. And um, we have the ovations, and we have uh, Roy Zimmerman, our quartermaster from the VFW. We have a, we had a group called Sticks from Henderson. They're a Christian youth group, and they performed. Um, it's an honor to serve with Sticks and pantomiming. And so these uh, performers all did this, of course, free of charge to help out and bring uh, people in here tonight. You had a 3 o'clock and a 7 o'clock show. Yes, we did. Um, the 3 o'clock was just a couple performers different than the um, evening performance due to scheduling conflicts. But both shows have uh, shown very well, and um, everybody seems to be enjoying them. People can donate to the VFW Food Bank all year long, food and monetarily? Yes, both food and monetary is very gladly accepted and you can donate that at the VFW on Homestead. For more information, is there a number to call? Uh, they can call the post or they can call me. Um, my number is 775-513-4830. Well, as we told you yesterday, one of our viewers is searching for her dog that has been missing since October 25th. The dog is a Chihuahua, he is tan and white, and his name is Ethan. If you have any information regarding Ethan, please call 702 Two nine zero six one three one. Once again, that's seven zero two two nine zero six one three one. We hope he turns up. Yes, I really, really do hope so. Yeah. Um, so moving on to weather, we're going to see fifties. Fifties later on this week. Yeah. So that, that's kind of exciting now, but I think it's going to get old after a while. Oh yes, yeah. just like the summer, it always exactly. Does. But today was kind of warm actually for me. <laughs> it was. Yeah, when you were outside really for a was. while. Yeah. So we're yes. getting spoiled with our eighties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. We'll keep it here because we'll have your weather after this break.
Gold Town Casino, where you'll get the most bang for your bucks, top-notch live gaming action, superior dining at Bougainvillea Cafe, and impeccable service you'll never want to leave. With surprises in store every day, why go anywhere else? All here at the Gold Town Casino. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Well, today we had sunny skies again, our high in the 80s at 81, with winds coming out of the east-southeast at 3 and our gusts at 7. Pressure today was at 30.12, and the UV index is moderate at 4, humidity at 13%, and our sunrise was at 6.13 a.m. Our record for today was 85 degrees back in 1988, so we were pretty com coming pretty close to that. Tonight we're looking at clear skies, low of 53 degrees, with our winds coming out of the north at Northeast at 2 with our gusts at 3, humidity at 36% and our sunset at 4.42 p.m. Record for tonight was 27 degrees back in 1940. Taking a look now at tomorrow, we're going to probably be seeing 82 for our high. Most likely the last day for our high in the 80s too. We're going to have a big cool down, but that's coming up next. Our low of 48 degrees with the winds coming out of the south at 5 and our gusts at 9. Humidity at 21% and our sunrise at 6.13 a.m. UV index is at 4 moderate. Taking a look now at our seven day forecast. Tomorrow, like I said, is gonna be in the 80s, but Thursday, we're heading back into the 70s and it's gonna be a pretty windy day too. The 70s is gonna look pretty nice for our high because starting Monday, we're gonna be in the 50s for the next three days and then 60s and then moving back up to the 70s on Tuesday, next Tuesday that is, but not that high in the 70s either. So things are definitely gonna be cooling down a lot for us. Our overnight lows as well are gonna be very cool, mostly in the 30s for most of the seven day forecast. All right, folks. Well, don't forget to tune in for our live election coverage at 7 o'clock. Yeah, going to be a very exciting night to see what the future of America is, really. Exactly. Yeah, historic night. Well, that's going to do it for News 46 tonight. I'm Zach Fuentes. And I'm Monique Mitchell. Have a great evening, everyone. We'll see you here again tomorrow night. Good night. Good night.